So to make our mug design, we're going to open up a Google slideshow. We're going to start by setting up our page. Our mug size is a an 8 by 3.75. So we're going to uh, do that in our custom setup. We'll get rid of the titles that are on here. And then I'm going to go search for a few photos that I can put on my slideshow. So I'm going to do this for my husband and his name is Mr. Jandro. So I'm going to go to Comic Life because I know there's some nice fancy titles there. I'll choose one that I like and type Mr. Jandro's name. I'm going to copy his name, make sure the handle's around just the title. I'll copy his name and then I'm going to paste it on my Google slide. I'm going to size it so that it's not too close to the top and not too close to the sides because I want it to print and I want to leave a little bit of room left and right so um, that I have room when I put it in the mug press. Now I'm going to size it. I'm going to try and center it and when I have the red line right in the middle, that's when it's centered. Now I'm going to go look for some photos. Well, Mr. Jandro enjoys biking, so I'm going to go see if I can find a picture of a biker. And I'll scroll till I find one that I think is pretty good. Now I can also save them. I'm going to copy this one. But if I wanted to remove the background, I could do that. I could save it and then bring it into background remove. But I'm just copying this one, pasting it. Now I'm going to personalize it. So I'm going to bring in an image. I know I have an image of Mr. Jean Drou in my photos. So I'm going to drag that one in. Now I only want his face, so I need to crop it. So I'm going to try and draw a box or bring the box right around his face only. I want to make sure that I get his whole face. And then I'll go on the arrow next to the crop tool and I'm going to choose the circle. So, and then I'll enter so I just get his face. I'll rotate the photo after I size it down a bit so that his head looks like it belongs on the biker. I don't want it to cover his name. So I'm going to try and bring the biker down a little bit and maybe resize it. Okay, that fits a little bit better. Now Mr. Jandro likes the woods. So I'm going to go find a picture of a tree. And I'll look for some trees that are in this area. Okay, I found one here that I think he might like, so I'm going to copy this one. And I'll paste it onto my slide. And I'll put it on both sides. So we have a little bit of symmetry. And that looks pretty centered to me. So at this point, we'll go on to the printing part. I purchased an Epson EcoTank printer and instead of using the inkjet ink that comes with it, I purchased sublimation ink, which you have to insert in this tank right here with a syringe. And then you've turned your regular inkjet printer into a sublimation printer. So now I'm gonna take my sublimation paper and I'm going to put it in the center. So to print, we're going to go to File, Print. I'm going to choose my Epson printer. Then I'm going to go to Print Settings and make sure that I have Epson Matte 
and I want the best quality and have to make sure to mirror my image. Now I'm going to print it. So the colors aren't as vibrant as they would be if it was coming from an inkjet printer. So what you want to do now is cut around your design. You want to go as close as you can so that it doesn't, so that it fits on the mug. step is to take our design and we're going to center it on the mug before we put it in the mug press. This is heat resistant tape and we're going to point the handle toward our body and then make sure it's centered on the mug. the sides. Now sometimes people put butcher paper around here so that the ink doesn't leak into the mug press. I've tried this paper and it uh, doesn't leak so I'm gonna forego the parchment paper. So now we'll take our 11 ounce mug and we'll slide it into the mug press. We'll put this down and the sublimation process will start. So when the process is done, open up your Cricut press, put it on a heat resistant surface, lift, and let it cool. So it took about 10 minutes to cool, so now we'll take off the heat resistant tape. Look at our product, and it turned out beautifully. You see, the colors are very vibrant compared to how it was printed, and I think Mr. Gendre will enjoy this cup.